Tonight's Fox 17 Waste Watch report focuses on a pricey road. It's in Laverne, where the street repair budget is small to begin with. Tonight, why one road is getting all the attention while others are left in the dust. Thousands travel Fergus Road in Laverne every day. I got a little Honda and uh, we had to race it up because it's just it's too bad. Bad. No matter what you're driving, Ridgeview Court isn't much better. It throws your alignment off and... Uh, just bumpy and rough. But roads like his and Fergus won't get fixed this year. That's because the less traveled Jones Mill Road ate up nearly half the city's road work budget. And no one even lives on this nearly two and a half mile stretch recently repaved. Maybe the priorities are, are not in the right place. It cost nearly $200,000 to pave this, which knocked other roads where taxpayers actually live and work off the priority list. Well, I felt there was other roads that needed it. I want to get $500,000 in my paving budget, so uh, it don't go far. Laverne's road manager says he didn't want to spend that much on this lightly traveled road, but the city had no choice. The next thing I know, we got a letter from the... Corps of Engineers saying we were in violation. That letter said the city is in default on maintenance of the public roadway and instructed Laverne to promptly repair any defects. You see, what's on Jones Mill Road is a private youth camp, a public campground, and a recreational area with a boat ramp to Percy Priest Lake, operated by the Army Corps of Engineers. So Laverne was hoping the Corps would enter into a local federal agreement to cover some of the cost of this road. But that didn't happen. Bad in a way, yes, but, you know, it's government. What's more, Laverne gets just $384 in tax revenue a year along this route, and that comes from that private youth camp. So infrastructure along this road won't generate the tax dollars to cover the work anytime soon. They're not getting any tax dollars back here, and I think we've got a water line that runs back through here, and as far as, as we go. Meantime, drivers like Liram Sutton will have to brave an even longer bumpy ride. It's just bad. The way it's all bumpy, it's falling apart. Well, we checked, and previous Laverne City leaders did annex that road 12 years ago. The Corps says that makes the city responsible for it. A statement released tonight reads, the Corps of Engineers approved the city's request and issued an easement in perpetuity to include Jones Mill Road on May 8, 2001. Well, you can find all of our Waste Watch reports at fox17.com. All you have to do is click on Waste Watch right there under Hot Topics at the top. We want to hear from you, too, so if you know of any waste, drop us a note right there in that same section on our website.